Hi everyone, it's Lewis here. Uh, it's my birthday today as I record this. I don't know, I probably won't upload this on my birthday because it's, it's, it's late now and I've got itchy head. Um, so it'll probably be another time when I upload it. I'm quite tired. I've had quite, um, not a stressful day, just, just I don't know, stay in it. Um, I saw Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I nearly said the title of that one. Which is the first one from 2018. This is the the new one, the second one, and I saw it in IMAX today, and I was really looking forward to it. It's nice that it came out on my birthday. It was nice of them to do that for me. Uh, I was I was really excited about this, and um, it's it, it's a lot to take in. Like I thought it was good. I really did. Um, I was very uh, invested in it, and I was very focused on it the whole time. And it's quite long, and I think it felt quite long to be honest. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not really going to give any context or anything. I just want to talk about um, how I felt about it. Um, and from the beginning, like the art style, and there's multiple art styles, like in the first one, and it's all really, really just amazing. Like there's uh, at least for the first like I don't know hour or so, maybe more. I was kind of thinking, how does this even exist? Both in terms of like the art style and the number of just really deep cut spider-man stuff in it and just things i never thought i'd see in a movie you know and like i know it's an animated movie and people don't normally treat them with the same level of importance but you couldn't do this stuff in a like you know like a live action movie even with cg and stuff you can only do this in animation which is why animation is so great and just yeah it was just crazy i was just like there's just so much going on here and there's so many things like, i can't remember half of it i think it only really ran the risk of like being overwhelming at certain points and like and yeah you know, i i know my spider-man like if there's one thing i know it's spider-man and there was so much stuff going on here that was just like and you know i'm, I'm not just in it just the, the cameos and references or whatever it's just you know i, I like the first one a lot because it I, I it reached me emotionally and that's the most important thing a movie can do i think is to make you feel things um but all the other stuff is just interesting and fun and it's just like yeah for most of it i was just like i can't believe this exists like how, how what are we what are we doing here this is crazy um maybe it's because i saw it in imax as well which was great you know i love imax but maybe that added to it being quite overwhelming and it's one of them where i feel like if i if I watch it again, which I I, I mean I want to see it again because I know it will all kind of come together a bit more then, and kind of I'll be able to comprehend it a bit better. Um, but also I want to I want to you know I don't want to see it again right away. I want to want to have I need a bit of time um, to kind of mull it over a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think I think the only the only thing with it was that it didn't quite hit me emotionally like the first one did. Like the first one, I get emotional just thinking about it. But like, but also, this is very much part one of two movies, which I knew going in. I didn't. I did think there'd be more of an emotional resolution in this, or just a story resolution, and then it would set something up for the next one. But this is very much just like you know, part one and part two. So the the story isn't fully complete yet. So I don't think I'll be able to judge this one until I've seen the next one, which I don't know when that's out. Next year, two years, three years another five years i don't know i'll wait it's fine um but yeah so it'll i think it will be you know easier to comprehend when it's all together sort of thing it's all one thing and i, I don't mind they've done it in two parts you know i can imagine if someone uh didn't know that it would be a bit weird to watch the film and go oh yeah it's it's, it's you know there's another bit coming up um and i can imagine if you're not like really into spider-man a lot of this might be a bit just kind of unintelligible I suppose I don't know because the first one was quite successful with people who probably don't know Spider-Man or you know who aren't really into this kind of movie I guess I don't I don't know but you know it won an Oscar didn't it yeah so maybe this one will too why not um but yeah I had, I had a good time it was it was a lot a lot going on like I say it didn't quite hit me fully emotionally and I feel like the last sort of 20 minutes to half an hour was kind of a bit I don't know. I felt like it was. I really. That's when I really started to feel the length of the film, and I felt like that could have like. I don't know. For me, I just I wasn't quite as into that last little bit. But then you know, it's still yet to be resolved. So yeah, 
but I thought this was really, really impressive, really something. And when the next bit's out, I'll make the full, the full judgment of it. Um, but yeah, Spider Man. Spider-Man, here I am, I'm recording this now, I'll put the microphone down and I'm talking.